Good evening, YouTube. This is Brew by Me. Gonna do a few reviews tonight. Um, I've been busy uploading a bunch of videos, so, anyways, anyways. So, I'll be doing a review tonight. Tonight, I'm gonna be reviewing a beer that was sent to me by the awesomeness Albino Rhino. Um, this is called. Mendocino Imperial Stout. And it's from the Mendocino Brewing Company, um, which is out of Saratoga Springs, New York. It's a 10%, 10% ABV, so it's a big bomber of a beer, man. Rich old style, so celebrating over 25 years of brewing excellence. All right, this award-winning brew is handcrafted to perfection, a premium American classic from a pioneer brewing legend. Imperial collection since 1983. Oh, this one's gonna be good. And uh, it's a. It's a gold cap with uh, some of their uh, artwork on there. Most of it is like hops and uh, barley. Um, Brew by B. BB Bafla. Using my Brassard de Dessel glass for this review. So let's open her up and uh, see what we get. Wow, it's thick. Ow. Oof. All right, so pitch black in color, finger of head, chocolate milk color head, medium to small bubbles, medium carbonation by the looks of the glass. Off the nose, I'm getting a, a lot of sweetness, a lot of malt, a lot of. Uh, um, roastiness. Um, big hits of chocolate and coffee. A slight hint of smokiness. Not too much. There's a slight bit of like a a floral hop there, but not. Uh, not too much. Anyways, this damn beer looks good, so let's give her a taste. Wow. This beer has been out of the fridge for about a half an hour now because uh, I wanted to warm it up to get all the flavors. And plus the battery for the camera was dead. Um, anyways. You take a swig of it. Beginning of your tongue, you get that big hit of malt and sweetness. And as it slides back into the middle of your tongue a bit, you're getting the the roasty characters there, the chocolate, the coffee, a slight bit of bitterness. And at the very back, it's where the bitterness lingers. But it's not like a, a very bad bitterness. It's just it's letting you know that it's there. It's like boom in sweet boom out bitter so 
It's a fairly well balanced beer. I'm going to say it's about a medium bodied beer. Um, it's not bad. Um, it's a decent beer. A big thank you to the Albino Rhino for sending this one out my way. It's truly appreciated and awesome, man. Thank you so much. This is a really good beer. Um, yeah, there's like a coffee bitterness there. Yeah. more coffee bitterness than the chocolate bitterness but they're both there and um, it's a fairly easy drinking beer this is one of those beers you just want to sip on though because it's a big whopper like it's ten percent there is a slight alcohol burn there but not too much it's not bad at all a slight one there um, excuse me as for the um, as for the malt characteristics, you're gonna say I'm gonna say uh, probably two row. Excuse me. So so two row black patent malt, chocolate malt. And that's about it, I think, for the malt profile. Um, the hop profile is more like. Um, Maybe uh, uh, Willamette and Mount Hood or something like that. Uh, yeah, I think that's what it is. I'm not 100% sure. These are just guesses, guys. Uh, you know, I try my best to get them as close as possible to the actual character, but. Anyways. Um, it's a really good beer. If you guys can find it, give it a whirl. Like I said, it's it's a fairly decent imperial stout. It's not it's not like uber spectacular like uh, you know the Saint D'Ambrose Russian imperial stout was really 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 good. Um, the Nickel Brock uh, special edition imperial stout was really 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 good as well. Um, Nickelbrook uh, Bolshevik Bastard Stout was really good as well. Um, this one is is good. It's not up there with those ones though. Um, anyhow, um, please rate, comment, subscribe, leave any suggestions or ideas in the comment box. Uh, you know, anything you want, leave it down there, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, anyhow, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Brew by Me is out.